Hello, welcome to this lecture. Are you worried about one-ear calipers? Here I am with a solution. A nice one-ear calipers here. And these are the objects, a rectangular object and a cylinder. The aim of this uh, experiment is just to find out what is the density of this given rectangular object as well as the volume of the given cylinder. So, before I get into measurement, I, the first thing that I have to worry is the least count of any measuring apparatus. So, for example, if we take a meter scale, just it is actually 15 centimeter, but anyway, it is a meter scale, 1 centimeter has totally 10 divisions. So, the least measurement that I can make out is 1 by 10th of centimeter. So, that is 0 0.1 centimeter. Now, if I talk about uh, one-year calipers, the least that measurement I can make out is 0 0.01 centimeter. Guess how to carry it? This one-year calipers has got two scales. One is one-year scale, it is a small scale over here, totally 10 divisions. Another one is the main scale. So, this was 0, 1, 2, 3, this in terms of centimeter, this is the main scale. Now, the value of one main scale division is 1 by 10th of centimeter. So, this is one year scale and one centimeter carries 10 lines. So, the one centimeter has 10 divisions, uh, 1 by 10 centimeter is one division. So, the least measurement in ma a main scale is 1 by 10th of centimeter. And also in one year scale, there are totally 10 divisions. So, total number of one year scale division is just 10 divisions. Least count is value of one main scale division by total number of one year scale division. A value of one main scale division is 1 by 10 centimeter we found out and uh, uh, one year scale division is totally 10, 1 by 10 by 10 is 100, 1 by 100, so 0 0.01 centimeter. So, least count of this one year calipers is 0 0.01 centimeter and for all the one year calipers it is the same unless you change the number of divisions in the one year scale as well as in the main scale. Now, we have to find out what is the uh, density of this given uh, rectangular object and we found a nice formula to find out density, mass by volume. We have to find out what is the mass of this and volume of this. Mass is actually 52.26 grams and it is in terms of grams, you need to write in terms of kilograms so that I can directly substitute here in terms of kilogram. Volume of this rectangular object is nothing but length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height or the thickness. So, I need to substitute for all these three. Mass, I already found it. Length, breadth, height, I have to find out by using the one year calipers. The first thing that I am going to do is to find out the length, right. So, let me just go to that. You have got main scale reading coinciding one year division. So, main scale reading, I have to uh, look at main scale, and after that, coinciding one year division, I have to look at one year scale and there is a formula to find out the total reading that is just MSR plus CVD into least count. So, you have to first multiply CVD with the least count then I have to add up with the MSR. So, we will do it. So, this I am just going to find out what is the length. So, now place between lower jaws these two are actually see symmetrical here. So, I can make use of this. Now, I have to tie it first. Now, I have to refer the main scale. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 is hidden here anyway. Uh, this is the first division in the one year scale which is going to be indicator or pointer for us. This is 8, it is between 8 and 9. So, the first division is in between 8 and 9. So, it is 8.1, this is 8.2 and it is between 8.2 and 8.3. So, the main scale reading is actually 8.2, the minimum I have to write 8.2. And then coming to the coinciding one year division. So, I have to refer the one year scale. There's, totally, there are 10 lines. So, 10 divisions in the one year scale. You have to write any one number from 0 to 10. And that number is in the sense, any one of the lines among 10 lines will be exactly coinciding with one of the divisions in the main scale. So, among 10 lines, one line will be exactly coinciding with the main scale. Uh, now, if I refer very carefully, uh, for my vision, it looks like the sixth line is exactly coinciding. So, I can write 6 as a coinciding one year division. So, next comes the calculation. Here it is of a formula. Uh, total reading is 8.2 plus bracket open 6 is a CVD into least count is 0 0.01. Remember, 8.2 is in centimeter because we refer main scale which is in terms of centimeter. And CVD does not have any, any reading because we just wrote down the division, that is all. 
uh, Lewis count is centimeter, so centimeter plus centimeter is just centimeter, so it is 8.26 is a reading. And one more trial I have already done, so the main scale is 8.3 and one more is CVG, it is a 4 a number and this is the uh, total reading for the length. So, you have to take the mean of these two and you have to add up and divide by 2, you can write here mean of these two and that is going to be length. So, similarly we have to do it for breadth also because you have to substitute in this formula, density formula. So, how to, do, how to go it for breadth and this way you have to keep, uh, I mean we have to place this object uh, this way, the lower jaws is placed over the, uh, the object. Now, we have to refer the main scale again the same way 1, 2, 3, 4, it is between 4 and 5 and here it is the reading 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, it is between 4.7 and 4.8, the reading is going to be 4.7 and then I've, again I have to uh, just go for uh, one year scale and after one year scale you have got yeah, some, some reading maybe now it is 8. Okay, so, I have to substitute again to find out the total reading and got a two trials find out what is the mean value and substitute here. So, length you can substitute from there, breadth again and again for the height or the thickness uh, this way you can keep and find out the thickness and again measure and find out right in terms of meter. So, uh, um, density is mass by volume just multiply and written in terms of meter cube kilogram per meter cube the final value you will get for the density. Similarly, you can find out what is the uh, volume of the cylinder. Now, to find out volume of the cylinder, the formula is given pi d square by 4 into h. D is a diameter, so you can find out outer diameter and inner diameter. For this calculation, I am going to use outer diameter. So, by the way, how to find out outer diameter? See, the upper jaws are going to be used to find out the inner diameter because these two are uh, you know, uh, symmetrical. So, I am going to place this way, tight it and measure MSR CV the same way. And outer diameter, this lower jaws could be used and this way I can place uh, in the middle and I can just find out what is the outer diameter or I can just place this way also, no worries, anyway it will give you almost the same value. And after finding out, you can substitute in the formula, d square is a diameter, uh, it is, like you, will you will get the value in terms of centimeter, but you have to write in terms of meter, a square, you know height, height of the cylinder could be used could be found by this one. I have to just hide it and just measure MSR CVD or you can just find out by using uh, this uh, straight rod. So, just make the uh, bottom of the uh, cylinder to touch this one, the rod and just tight it and direct measurement MSR CVD and it will give you the value here. So, you can just find out that also height substitute will get volume in terms of meter cube. So, this is how we can find out uh, volume and density of the object. So, the, be the benefit over here is you can get a more precise value. In meter scale the maximum value you can get, you can get is for example, 4.6, but here there is a possibility of getting 4.62, 4.65 because this it will give you more precise value. So, thank you for watching this. Share this video among your friends so that this could be benefited to your friends as well.